right. All right. First up this morning, this guest <laughs> is a big deal in the comedy world. He not only made some of the funniest movies of all time, he was also essential in developing the film genre known as comedy spoof. That's right. We are excited to be chatting live today with Milwaukee native. It's David Zucker. He is the man Hi. behind Airplane, the Naked Gun franchise, a couple of the scary movies, so much more. His new autobiography was just released. It is called Before the Invention of Smiling. It covers the Zucker family's immigration from Hungary to the Midwest to becoming one of Hollywood's leading comedic film writers and directors. And we're so excited to have you here. Good morning, David. Good morning. My favorite comfort your... food is cars, crackers, and hummus. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> so yeah, that's like, that's what I just, that's what I thought of it and that's what it is. So It's, it's, it's not meat. Huh? It's not me. Really, no, not really. Yeah. Well, I've you know, you got to. Yeah. You, you know what it is when you think about it, what really fills you up. And I'm glad you knew that one. So, um, right. so yeah. happy to have you here. You, yeah. we mentioned you're Shorewood native. You went to UW yes. Madison. Um, what do you miss about Milwaukee? You know, the, well, of course, the change of seasons. And uh, yeah. I, I miss the trees. And, and, since I've been in L.A., I've been on the board of uh, this organization called Tree People, which is right. uh, you know a huge organization in L.A. It's only local. It's not national. So uh, and I'm just because trees don't grow naturally here in L.A. You have to really plant them and care for them for the first two years. I've planted my whole block. I've uh, you, you could, if you drive by my house. You can, which one is on the board of tree people? You know, it's, that's me. It's, it's, I'm in a forest, and I built a tree house during the quarantine. It's, uh, it's, it's been great. How often do you get back to Milwaukee, and when people find out where you're from in L.A., what do they say? Uh, they, they, people don't, people always, they smile. I mean, it's like, uh, first of all, all my good friends are from L, uh, from. Milwaukee, we we get together and watch the Packer games every Sunday here, uh, you know, before this season. Right. And this, it's, <laughs> it's a dumb season not to be able to watch it with all my buddies. But, uh, you know, Jerry and Jim come over. That's my brother Jerry and Jim Abrams. And, uh, you know, David Miller and Tom Groden, Rich Markey, all, all my friends from Milwaukee. And uh, we, have, we have a great time. And we have cars, crackers, and hummus. <laughs> I'm pretty amazed, you know, um, I, I've spent some time in L.A. I am amazed at how many Midwesterners have kind of made their way out there and have stayed together as groups. So I, I love hearing that. Obviously, we know you guys go way back to college and the comedy and sketch comedy you did there. So that's it's pretty impressive right. that you've retained that friendship throughout your whole life. Um, this well, book, it's though, not, we gotta... it's, it's impressive, but, you know, no one else will hang out with. Us, so, you know, that's what we do. <laughs> it's by default. <laughs> yeah, it's by default. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, we do want to pivot to your book, so we want to make sure we, we hear a little bit about it, and we'll go to the movies and stuff next. But we got to hear about this. So, um, so this is it, your first book, right? My first book ever, um, and and I've been working on it for twenty years. Because, well, not just because I'm a slow reader, but I evidently <laughs> I'm a slow writer too. But uh, I, I used to hear all these stories from my grandmother uh, about how she grew up in Hungary and had to escape over the border and uh, came to America, the whole thing. And I had all these pictures too. And so uh, I decided to put it together in a book because I figured um, if I didn't pass these stories on, they'd be lost forever. And she was one of eight brothers and sisters. She was the only one who talked about it. And I was the only mm. one of uh, you know, her 10 grandkids uh, who really set the whole thing down. And I even flew to what is now Slovakia to find out, you know, where her original house was, and I, it's all in the book. I have pictures and 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 all all the all the locations in Milwaukee uh, that that the family lived. Some of which are mm. still there. I have to know: Did your grandma like airplane and naked gun? Well, that's a good question. She uh, the book goes from 1893 when she was born until uh, 1985 when she died, and. Uh, so she was able to see uh, uh, Airplane. But by the time she saw Airplane, it was like, well, there's so many nice, pretty colors there. But the real the real horror was in 1977 when 
well, you know, Jerry and I did a movie and she, you know, and but it was Kentucky Fried Movie, which was, you know, just this side of softcore porn. So uh, it was funny, <laughs> but it, we were horrified at having to show my grandmother and Aunt B and Uncle Maury, her brother and sister, this movie. And so uh, we decided to do an edited video of it without, you know, without all the bad stuff. And so my mom showed it to them. Jerry and I were back in LA at the time, fortunately. And uh, and so uh, my mom said, as they're watching it, we did leave in some stuff, so that they're, you know, you know, the show Shit's Creek. Yeah. There was that yeah. word in. There was that word in the in the movie. So <laughs> Grandma, who was eighty three at the time or something, turns back to my mom and said, just like that, you know. That you know, language like that. Anyway, so a week later, we hear they all went to see the movie at the Fox Bay oh. Theater. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, no! <laughs> yeah. You're so, in trouble. Uh, oh my! And this, this is all in the book, and and I actually have drawings in the book showing anything that there aren't photographs. I had an artist do drawings, and so we we see the the three of them as we imagine them at the Fox Bay Theater watching the Kentucky Fried Movie, going like this. <laughs> Oh, I bet your heart just sunk I into just, your gut thinking, yeah, Grandma, we, Grandma no longer know, loves me. Uh, yeah, well, I still cringe. I mean, this is like uh, 40 years later or something. <laughs> but, uh, you, you know, they, they still loved us. I mean, it's, it's Milwaukee. Everybody was very proud. Um, it was a great moment when we actually had the premiere at the Fox Bay Theater. And, uh, you know, my mom and dad invited 600 of their closest friends. And uh, it was it was an amazing, amazing night. It's so cool. You know, I there's so many things I wanted to ask you, and we didn't get a chance to do that. Um, I would love it if you join us again on the show because I'm dying to know, for example, how important it was to you to to cast the late Leslie Nielsen in in your films. Um, we had a lot of rapid fire questions we wanted to, wanted to ask you, so I'll just ask you this one: Who's the funniest person that you know? Uh, the, the funniest person, she's uh, probably my next door neighbor, Bob Zabaski. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other than that, other than him, it's, uh, you know, the Impractical Jokers, who oh. I, I love. Do you, are you familiar with them? We just had they them on our show. We had them on the show yesterday. Oh, really? They are the funniest thing. I, I've been on four of their cruises. <laughs> They uh, they have me they have me on as a guest and I show I show a movie every every cruise uh, that there wasn't one uh, this this there won't be one this February but every other one but the book is available on Amazon so you can uh, Amazon Kindle and you can it, I, on Kindle it's only in black and white so uh, but it should be viewed in color as my sister says yeah, that's and so, of all the photos. Yeah. yeah, with all the photos, it's just, it's full of photos, so it'll be easy, it's an easy read for your listeners, yes. I love it. So, David, uh, can we trap you into joining us again sometime soon? Right. Yeah, we're, we're holding why to we it. Just, why, why don't you just cancel whoever you have on for your next segment? I'll just <laughs> stay here. Just keep talking. That, that would be nice. Thank you so much, David. Okay. Thanks it for having me. It was an honor. Me. Yeah, okay. it truly Likewise. was. Sure. Again, it's the Shorewood native. David Zucker's book is called Before the Invention of Smiling. It is available on Amazon. I'm not sure if we mentioned, he talked about his brother, Jerry. He's the one who did Ghost, which is also incredible. That was so fun to talk to him.